Today we're gonna be testing out five TikTok hacks to see if they really work in Minecraft so that you don't have to. You're not going to miss this because there are some crazy tips in here that are gonna change the way you play forever. And I promise you, you'll learn at least one new thing. Especially when we get around to tip number five. That is just wild. All right, so this one says how to make a circle in Minecraft. Let's see. Okay, so he's got some honey blocks and a bunch of minecarts. All right, we already know about the minecart stacking glitch, but where's he going with this? What? What is happening? Oh my gosh, that is actually a circle in Minecraft. All right, we need to put this to the test ASAP. So first things first, let's go ahead and let's get a stone block for ourselves. Let's go get some honey as well. We'll get a railway, and then of course we'll get an actual minecart. All right, now this is all we're going to need in order to make this work. I I'm going to be shocked if this actually works properly. We'll see, we'll see. All right, so here we go. You ready? You're going to put that one down there. You're going to put some yep. nice... Ooh, ooh uh, you like that sound? Uh, 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 Oh, anyway, like there that. we go. So let's go oh, ahead. <laughs> there we go. And now we just go ahead and you want to try and find the sweet spot. So it should be like right about there. There we go. So now you stack up a bunch of them. I was just doing this for probably like 30 to 45 seconds. It seems like you did. Fast forward it, of course. All right. Probably ready. I'm, because it's being dropped. There's three of us me. doing it. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, well, that noise is definitely wait, 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 unsettling. Wait, wait, wait. Jump, 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 jump. What? Uh, Mr. Mr. Scientist Man. Uh, yeah. You forgot to break the rail. You forgot to break the rail. Oh! <laughs> Let's see. Oh my. No. Oh, move around some more. Move around some more. It's actually working. Dude, look at it. Oh. That's so cool. Wait, wait. And I bet you when it settles. Actually, if you go up from a distance. Dude, that's actually really cool. Wow. Now, what happens if you. Oh, that noise. I didn't like that. Wait, these actually wait. all move together. They are Why a are unit. They, they, they are one. Why aren't they? Oh, oh come oh, back. There they go. Come back! Ah! Where are they going? Okay, Please. that's just gonna go forever if no, we don't no. stop it. We no, can't let them it. go into nature. They have no known predators. Well, let's say that TikTok was actually confirmed as being true. I got worried for a second during that. <laughs> Number two, it's that I just figured out how to make a working zip line in Minecraft. All right, so we've done this before, but with slabs and fence posts. However, he's doing it with chains, so I'm kind of curious how this is gonna work. It looks a lot better that way, too. All right, so you dig two blocks down there. He's saying you put a trap door there. I'm guessing water is probably next. Yep, yep, yep. Looks like I guessed right. And lo and behold, you can literally make a zip line with that. I mean, that looks excellent. I still have no idea why in Minecraft this works the way that it do, but it do. All right, so Dropsy, you already started this one over here. I'm going to start making the chain all the way across. And of course, we're going to need the other pillar. So let me just go ahead and I will bring this all the way down. How far should we make this thing? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right, this should be good enough from right here. All right, so we'll have it connecting over there. And then probably should have done this in the side of a cliff because it would look a lot better. But you know what? This, this is fine. This is fine. Um, go and nice. So now let's put down a trap door and of course a water bucket. Okay, boom. And this should theoretically just work, right? Well, one way to find out. Yeah, let's see what happens here. All right, so we got to make sure that we are in swim mode. And now... <laughs> <laughs> what? You, you know you can swim in creative, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cap? Why? Why is there a... I tried the last one we did. Why is there an upside... Hold on, hold on. Oh, that's from last recording. What are you doing? What are they... <laughs> Wait, what? Is that from the last Just TikTok the video? Distance. Oh <laughs> my gosh. All right, so we decided to give it a try in Minecraft Bedrock Edition, because apparently Java was not working too well, but I'm not willing to admit that this myth is debunked at the moment. I think it could still work, just based off of the fact that I know it works with fence posts and trapdoor. And look at that! It actually does work! So you have to do it in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. You can't do it in Java. But honestly, at this point, I would say it's just an opinion based of what looks better. You can either do that, or I know for a fact that fence posts works as well. So whatever looks better for your personal Minecraft world, that's what you can do. Kind of surprised, honestly. Two for two on random TikTok hacks? Let's see if we can keep that up. Alright, so this next one, I don't know what to expect. It says Minecraft hack slash give at s light block one 511. I don't know what exactly a light block is. I don't know if that's like gonna be just like a lighter colored block or what really to expect from this. Um, let's see. 511. Okay. Is that a... 
You can get light sources in Minecraft Bedrock Edition? Dude, I don't know if this is actually true, but if this is, that's game changing. And I hope one day they bring it all the way over to our good old friend Minecraft Java, because that's what I personally play the most. Either way, though, let's see if this actually works. So slash, so here we go, slash give at S light underscore block. Oh my gosh, so far it's actually working. One and then 511. No, no way. So there's just an invisible light source associate with how do you get rid of it though i guess you probably would have to mess around with the uh, intensity of it but that's so cool i i honestly outside of doing like creative style builds i don't know how you would use this but definitely if you make like a world spawn or something like that for a minecraft server and you don't want to have like glowstone or any kind of apparent light source but you need light anyway this seems like your best friend i mean how crazy is that that's what i love about doing these videos as well not only do i feel like i'm teaching you guys something but i'm most certainly learning some stuff myself now before we get into number four I gotta warn you guys, stick around to the very end. Number five is truly going to blow your mind. All right, so this next one, it says useless Minecraft thing you probably didn't know. And it's gonna be a list of them, if I understand correctly. So let's see. There's number one, where it's just showing you that you can have paintings going through a portal. Also, this one I didn't know about, but you can apparently fill up a cauldron with certain potions and then apply it after the fact. This one right here is showing you how during a lightning storm, if you throw a trident, it'll actually strike down lightning and you can make supercharged creepers. And with an inch, show you as well is that pigs also turn to pig zombies. That right there just shows you that the respawn anchor from the nether explode in the overworld. And of course, if you lightning strike a mushroom cow, it'll turn into a brown mushroom cow, a different variant, which is really cool. Either way, as promised, we're going to test these things out to make sure that you guys don't have to do it yourself, because some of these might take a little more time than you're willing to spend. So let's see. You ready for this? We got paintings. We got the portal ready to go. So let's just go and build this up like this. It's a little bit of a tall one, um, but that's fine. Okay. Actually, not really. That's just a really square and ugly. That's a really ugly portal. <laughs> Either way, let's go fill these up on the sides here. And boom, it looks like that one already works. All right. So now the potion of harming should be able to fill it up, but it's not. I'm not willing to say it's debunked yet, though. Let's go head on over to Bedrock Edition and give it a try there. All right. So here we go. We're in Bedrock. And oh my gosh, you actually can fill up a cauldron using potions. I had no idea about that until now, which is pretty shocking. I feel like I should know that. All right. So next up, it had, of course, the tridents in the rain and thunder. If you give it channeling and you throw it at anything, it looks like it really does lightning strike, which is a really efficient and cool way to cause all sorts of crazy things to happen. Like, for instance, pig zombies in the overworld. Or, of course, you can go ahead and if you find yourself a creeper, you can go ahead and turn it into a super creeper. There's lots of different combinations out there for you to try. I'd recommend you go through them all. Now, next up, of course, is the respawn anchor. And if you overflow it with too much glowstone, it just blows on up. Simple but something maybe a lot of people didn't know about. Did you say blow up? Big boom. Yes. And last but not least, here's the mushroom cow. When struck by lightning, boom, it turns into a brown mushroom cow. How cool is that? But now it's time for the fifth thing that's going to blow your mind. It has quite the setup as well. All right, here it is. The TikToks of about 55 seconds, which is a pretty long one, to be honest. But uh, obviously, you'll see that every second counts with it. So you have to go ahead, use some fence posts, some stone bricks. You hook the boat up to it. And OK, got a little stringy boat there. Now, here's a catch. If you use pistons like they're about to do right now, you can actually push the boat lower and lower down until eventually you could trap it underneath the ground like so. There we go. Fence posts, some stone bricks, and then, of course, a little bit extra on top of there. Now, this next part is pretty crazy. It takes advantage of the fact that you can use soul sand in order to make for yourselves some bubbles. However, if you fill up the water and then delete the water after the fact, it'll actually still keep the bubbles, which is a really strange effect. Then from there, you just jump on up and it looks like you're climbing a rope when in reality, you're just using bubbles to launch you up. All right, so in order to make this work, I'm not going to lie to you all, it's going to be a little bit difficult on my end. I've never done anything like this before, but I'm going to do my best to try and do it because I think it'll be fun. And plus, we're trying to test these things out so you don't have to. So let's go ahead and we'll go across like so. And then boom, we can just put one of those in the middle there. Actually, I bet this one a little too chungus, so let me just go in. All right, then from there, we just go ahead, put the boat on the ground, put one lead on that side, the other one tie it on up, and there we go. We now have a 
working little uh, boat stuck on a lead. Okay, from there, we go and dig out underneath the boat like so, being very careful not to accidentally hit the boat and break it. And then we're gonna try and very carefully get the piston facing the right way, which I usually struggle with because I am terrible. So let's see, can I do it like, no, no. All right, there we go. So we got that part working now. And now we need a working redstone block. So that way we can start pushing it ever so slightly down. All right, here we go. So that'll push it down one little bit there. And boom, somehow, some way we managed to make this happen here. I don't really know how we did that, but whatever. I mean, it was kind of just a cheat sheet to where we were going. Okay, so now we just need to go ahead and push it down one more time. There we go. And now that's stuck all the way at the bottom there. See, so right now we've put the two fences down on each side, just like that. And then from here, we go and we fill it up with a stone brick. So just like that, 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 and boom, the hard part's over. So we have what appears to be a rope. However, of course, there's no way to climb up it. Well, let's go ahead and replace the backside of this all with dispensers. And now we're gonna replace a single bucket in each and every one of these. So just like that, just one by one, making sure you don't miss a single one of the dispensers. There we go. And once you have a bucket in every single spot, you can just go ahead and put down on this side a bucket of water on each one. It's important that you don't just put it at the top. You have to put it down the whole way in each spot. That way, the bubbles go all the way through. And then from there, if you just go ahead and put some redstone on the back of these, it should, in theory, cause it to take away the water. However, the bubbles remain. And now for the final touch, just to see if it works. You ready? And it does. So to anyone else out there, it'll look like you literally just climbed up a rope to get up on top of your base. And there you have it, everyone. That's five TikTok hacks you might not have known about earlier. In case you missed it, go check out my other TikTok hacks by clicking anywhere on screen or down below in the description.